want to take a second to talk about this book that I bought. It's uh, the Dune Buggy Handbook, and you can find it on maybe eBay and Amazon. I don't know. I just think it's a great resource. I have one gripe, and that is that the uh, text is a little bit thin, and <laughs> my eyesight is getting worse as I get older. I'm 44, so it's a little bit hard for me to read. Um, but let's just get into this book for a second. Um, one of my goals for my Doom Buggy is to figure out what uh, manufacturer my body is. And um, I want to look at a couple of things really quick. But one of the greatest things is right here you've got all of the different manufacturers listed. A to Z, all the way down to Volksrad, Vulture. Someone really loves Doom Buggies more than me. It goes to the beginning of Dune Buggies, how it all started before there was fiberglass bodied or uh, Volkswagen based. Dune Buggies could have been anything, just any any car stripped down to be lighter to uh, you know have traction on sand. So it just goes through the beginnings of Dune Buggies and gets to people started to use uh, Volkswagen uh, floor pans and chassis and engines. And really, there's some just great photos of Doom Buggies from around the world. And some of these just original, the original Bruce Myers, uh, the old red one is in here. And it's just so classic, which is kind of what I'm going for. But the other thing, I didn't know that you could buy a Doom Buggy at Sears, which is cool. I mean, you could order one, right? The the body itself. And then, it, you know, the Myers Manx is heavily covered. It's my favorite, and I, you know, I think it should be covered the most because I think it is the most um, iconic shape, and really it's responsible for how Doom Buggies are viewed today. Uh, it also talks about the um, Steve McQueen uh, Myers Manx modified, and then they used a Corvair engine, and that whole story. The Thomas Crown Affair is a Steve McQueen movie where he drives this really badass looking Doom Buggy on the beach. This is like made in like 67, I think. Comes out in 1968. 1969 was just like the year of the Doom Buggy. So FiberTech is another company. And on this one, but see this could be customized, but it doesn't, it's very similar. Um, these look a little bit sharper than some of the, um, than my fenders and there is no indentation down here but FiberTech is pretty close and this is so I'm in California I think my car was built in the late 60s early 70s but anyway this was another one that is a maybe so I just want to share this book with you it, it's just a it's a great book if you love doom buggies it, it, it was 30 35 bucks and it just has so much great stuff. Advertisements, magazine covers, just wherever doom buggies were in pop culture, they, they, they included in this book. And so many unusual and crazy doom buggies. I didn't realize how big doom buggies were in Great Britain. It's true what they say about Americans. We, we only know what happens here and we're not very well informed about the rest of the world. It was really great to learn that uh, doom buggies are loved all over the world. So yeah, this is the cover, Dune Buggy Handbook, new edition, the A to Z of VW-based buggy since 1964. James Hale is the author, forward by Bruce Myers, and I am in no way uh, associated with them. I just found it on the internet. I was like, I need a book. I need a book about Dune Buggies, and there's a, there's a couple, and this one looked like the most um, the most fun. And check it out. I mean, it, if you're looking for... Uh, information and just more a resource for your buggy on maybe identifying your buggy because they are hard to uh, figure out you know there's so many there's so many different manufacturers it's hard to figure out what you actually have if if you're looking to do that so comment like subscribe all that stuff thanks for uh, thanks for watching